Matter of fact, before we go in and watch this video, do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. Uh, God made the, the world in how many days? Seven. Get that real quick. You said seven. Let me I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you right, bro. I'm gonna get you right. Six hey, sis, come over here real quick. Days, come look at this side real quick. I gotta show you something. Right You're the best people that ever walked this earth. I'm gonna show you right now according to the Bible. Bring him over here. Bring your little boy over here too. You can see him? All right. Who is this right here? Turn that sign around. Who is this? You said Jesus? Who is this? Who is he? I'm asking you, sis. I know who it is. Who is it? Who is it? I'm asking you, sis. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now. That's the devil that the Bible speaks of. Right. That's what that is. All right. Does Christ look like this? Go to Revelation real quick. Stay with me, sis. Very important. All right. Because I'm gonna your sister. Your cousin. Who is that? Okay. Yeah. She said that was Jesus. Let's see if that's what it says in the Bible. Verse one. The Book of Revelation, chapter one and verse one. This is the Holy Bible, the same Bible that's in every church. He's going to tell you what Christ looks like. Go ahead. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show to his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So they're going to reveal what Christ looks like. Drop the um, fourteen. Verse fourteen. His head and his hairs were white like wool. He said Christ's hair on his head was white and woolly. What nation of people? have woolly textured hair. Us. You said us. What about you? Us. What about you, sis? Who has woolly textured hair? I ain't got woolly textured No, no, not now. You know why? Because you got the weave on, sis. But once you take that thing off, what do you have? Yeah. Sis, sis, come on out here, sis. Yeah. Come on, sis. This is your history. This Bible is for you. That's why we're out here. We're out here for our people. Right. We're not out here in a Chinese community. Hey, sis, come over here. I see you listening. Come on over. This Bible is for you. This is the best thing that ever happened to us. Right. Yeah. Then we're not out here in the Chinese community. We're not out here in the Arabs community. We right. don't care about them. God only cares about us. That's why we come to our people. Right. We're the ones that's in distress and that's being shot down the streets right. and can't get a job Jeez. and struggling out here. Have to worry about getting a COVID vaccine right that's only being pushed to our people. Right. Why is that? Why is that? Why is it only being pushed to our people when all of a sudden they care about us, they're giving us a free shot? Give me Micah 2 and 2. Micah 2 and 2. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that real quick. They're saying we got to get this shot to the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Out of all the things they've done to us over these years, why are they bringing it to us now to help us out? Uh, we got to make sense of this. Hey, sis, don't worry about that. Don't, don't sell that. We're not buying on the Sabbath. That's what we don't do. Listen to this. And hey, y'all listen carefully, carefully. The book of Micah chapter 2 and verse 2. And they covet fields and, and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. So we're talking about a certain people oppressing another people. I'm gonna read it again so y'all listen to what's going, what's going on. And they covet fields and take them by violence. So they covet people's, other people's fields and take them by, by violence. Who has that happened to? Black people. Black people and who else? Hey, ask him. Who that happened to? Y'all remember this? This is your brothers and sisters right here. The so-called Native Americans are your brothers and sisters. They covered their fields and took America. Right. They took their land and called it America. Keep going. And houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house. Even a man and his heritage. A man and his heritage. They oppress us. They take away our laws and give us what they want. Like for example, do you know what the Passover is? No. You know what the Passover is? What about you? Passover? What about you? Christ, I don't remember exactly. That's cool, that's cool. It's good since that's why we're here to teach us good. What about what about Hanukkah? Y'all heard about Hanukkah? No, that's who, who celebrates Hanukkah? That's Christmas. I have it in the Okay, that's good. What, who celebrates Hanukkah? The Jewish people. What, what color are they? What race of people are they? Technically white. They're white people. They celebrate Hanukkah. But let me tell you something. Hanukkah is for our people. This book is for us. It's, right. It has nothing to do with them. They celebrate Christmas. They celebrate Thanksgiving. They celebrate uh, St. Patrick's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, birthdays, all customs that are not found in the Bible. Right. You know why? Because this Bible isn't for them. 
Everything in this Bible is that what we're supposed to celebrate. We don't celebrate Christmas. Christmas is a heathen, pagan holiday. Right. God said not to celebrate, but then we celebrate it and wonder why God don't deal with us. Wonder why we're at the bottom of society. God said celebrate the Passover. You know what the Passover is? Y'all heard about the story about Moses when he went in there and told Pharaoh to let my people go? Go to Exodus 5 and 1. Get that. When Moses told Pharaoh to let my people go, I know we saw the Charles Heston movie when there was a white guy saying, Pharaoh, let my people go. But contrary to popular belief, Moses is a black man right. that told him to let my people go. Right. Who was his people? Us. The same people. All right, give me that. The book of Exodus chapter 5 and verse 1. We're going to prove who the people are. And afterwards, Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. This is what the Lord is saying about, about this situation. God of Israel. God of who? Of Israel. Look at his side real quick. God of Israel. All right. God made 18 nations in the Bible. Tell me where you find yourself on his sign, sis. At the top, you're a so-called African-American, right? From the tribe of Judah. Yes. That's who you are. You're a Judite. Right, right. You're not an African American. That's a byword. Okay? You're from the tribe of Judah, so that's who you are. So he's talking to you. Read it, read it again. And afterwards, Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Let my people go, that they may hold a feast unto me in the wilderness. He said, So they will hold a feast for me in the wilderness. He's talking to us. Those feasts in the Bible, in Leviticus 23, all the way down, are only for our people. Right. And the reason why we're not, we're not on top right now is because we didn't celebrate that. We stopped celebrating our feast and started doing what everybody else does. We started celebrating uh, uh, what the Chinese want to do. We want to start being like them in the Arabs, celebrating uh, what? Worshiping Islam. That's not our religion. You can't find that in the Bible. All right? But sis, I'm going to ask you this. You go to church? Good. Don't ever go. Don't ever go to church. I had an, I was invited to a church by my home. Okay. And I think they're like the seven um the seven day events. Seven day events, yeah, that's and I did attend the Zoom last night for the first time too. Hey, you know you know why, sis? God said don't attend that tonight, but you're gonna come over here and learn your true history today. Right. He was saving you from that. So there's a reason why you're here. It's not by coincidence. Okay. Right. So let me ask you this, sis. Does God love everybody? Of course, okay. And where did you learn that? Teach it. That's what everybody says, right? No, not, they, not from what everybody says. That's just... What you feel? Yeah. Okay, let me... Let me. Do you believe in the Bible? Let me ask you that first. Let me get back on... Let me get back on your heritage. I do. Do Romans 28. I do. Okay. But I'm not going to stand here and act like I read it. No, I understand. And I've had one since I was a little girl. Good, good. And I still have that same Bible. So I'm, I'm not even mad at that, sis. It follows me. So, yes. I'm, since you kind of like you're not sure, I'm going to show you why we believe in the Bible. We're going to tell you what we saw and hopefully it resonates with you because this is the spirit of the Lord. All right? Give me Deuteronomy 20, uh, 20 verse 1. Like, remember, he, Moses saved us out of Egypt. He, he led us out of Egypt by the, uh, by the hand of God. Okay? So, remember that point. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. So, after we got into Egypt, we're in the wilderness now and Moses is speaking to us. Only our people. No other nation. Okay? And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. So God gave us commandments, and he said if we keep these commandments, what's going to happen? That the Lord thy God will set thee on high, above all nations of the earth. So God says if our people were just to listen and follow his laws, we were going to be set on high above every other nation on this earth. Now, is that equality? No. It's not equality, but Christian church teaches equality, that God loves everybody, but you just heard it's a separation. Yeah. Now, there's a flip side to that. If we keep the commandments, and y'all stop by here real quick. It's some good information, real good information. So if we, if we keep the commandments, we're going to be on top of every nation, meaning we will not have to work. We will have servants. We will be in the best lands and the best places ever. Right. All right? Let's go to the flip side. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. But it shall come but... All right, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. He said it shall come to pass, meaning if we don't listen, this will happen. Okay, to observe to do all His commandments and His statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. He said we're going to be a cursed people, and that thing's going to be prevalent all the way till today. And I'm gonna prove it. Give me verse 32. 
We're going to show you why we know who we that we are the children of this book. That we know we are the children of Israel because of the curses. Y'all paying attention, bro? Bro, you paying attention? This is how we know. You ready? Let's go. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. Hey, sis, what color is Christ? All right, let's go. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Read that again. Y'all listen carefully. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Now, it says our sons and daughters are going to be given unto another people. Before we hit that point, it says thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. There's separation there. God didn't make everybody the same and say we're all one people. That's not biblical. It's a lie that the Christian church pushes. All right? So it says our children will be given to another people. So what does this mean? I got Hold on. Hold on real quick. What slavery say? Can you agree with that? It said our pe our children will be given to another people, and that's prevalent. That's history. You can't prove that that didn't happen. We're still in slavery. There you go. All right. What's your question, bro? Real quick. Oh, Moses. 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 Yes. Moses knew that his people was suppressed. In the right. 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 God indeed. Right. Exactly. We was in slavery in Egypt. The same thing he just said. Now give me verse uh, forty-six, I believe. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and a wonder. Talking about these curses. These curses are going to identify who the children of Israel are. And we're just pointing one out to you. The curse of our children being given to another people, it happens to our people. It's not given to everybody else. All right, don't worry about it. You see the devil. That's the devil the Bible speaks of. All right, give me verse 48. Verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. God says since we broke the commandments, we're going to be serving our enemies that the Lord sent against us. Okay, that's very important. Go ahead. In hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. All right, so look, he said we're going to be serving in hunger, thirst, and nakedness. Nakedness. Where'd you get that, that come from? Yeah, I mean, from the store. What store was it? Um, the Red Mini Mons of Beatles. Who owns it? Um, I think the Arab. The, the, the Arab man, not your people, right? Because he's your enemy. God said you're going to get everything from your enemy, right? Right, exactly. There's, there's a reason, though. Yeah. Why they do it? Why they doing it? Because you heard it right. It just says, read it again. I'm going to tell you why. They bring that to you. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. Serve thy who? Thine enemies. Now, would your enemies be in their, would it be in their best interest to help you out? No. Why? Because we would be above you. Would, you would take over. That's why. That's why they, it's, it's a plot against you. Give me. But you know the step with is our own people. A lot of them say yeah, get that, get that real quick. You said what, sis? I have people that on a daily basis try to go against and criticize what I try to do try to Because we have hate in our hearts to each other. So that's the problem in our communities. That's why we can't get along. There's a lot of killing going on. Who's killing each other? It's the blacks on blacks. A white maker walk through the baddest neighborhood and not get touched. You know why? Because the black people look at look at the white person and see who? They see Christ. That's why they won't touch him. But read this real quick. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 17. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. It said, cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. So any any establishment that we have, we're going to work 10 times as hard to keep it running. Because we have other nations coming against us to take us down. All right? And your own people, too. They Our own people, they look at us. We look at each other like trash. I'm going to say it like that. If you have a store open and then I have another store that a -Rabs run, no, we're no, more, we're more uh, willing to go to the a to give them money. The people that don't do nothing for our community, they don't come back and, and give us um, any clothes drives and do nothing for our kids or nothing. But the black man, your own brother, you're not going to support his store. That's why they, they shut down real quick. That's how they get treated like trash. They, they get stuff stolen from their stores and everything. But not the a and the white man. We ain't going to do that to them. We're not going to touch their stuff because they're gods. All right? Keep going. Give me 68 real quick. I'm going to show you. We'll get back to the point. I'm going to show you how we know we are the Israelites. Okay? Verse 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. He said, the Lord is going to bring us into Egypt. Read that second part. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Again. Okay? Give me Deuteronomy 5 and 6. It says, he's going to bring us into Egypt again. Because remember, we just came out of Egypt. 
So we're going to go back into Egypt again. Now we're going to get the definition of the word Egypt. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 5 and verse 6. Now we're in the same book. Deuteronomy. Go ahead. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. So Egypt means bondage. Because when we was in Egypt, we served hard bondage, slavery. So to us, when we hear Egypt, what should you think about? Slavery. That's what it is. So go back to that. It's going to correlate. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. What is Egypt? What is Egypt? Bondage. What is Egypt? Bondage. bondage. There you go. Again. So we're going to go back into slavery again with ships. This time we're going to go back on ships. All right. How do we get over here? How did our people get to this land? On what? On ships. On ships. All right. Keep going. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We're not going to see our homeland Jerusalem again. That's what it's saying. Go ahead. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Now the place where you land and you get off them ships, you're going to be sold unto your enemies. All right. Who are we sold to? Oh, no, no, the enemies. We gotta be specific. Who are we sold to? Who? Who are we sold to? Who are we sold to? What did God call him? Read that part again. And there thou shalt be sold unto your enemies. So the white man is your what? According to the Bible, right? I'm not making this up. It's in Deuteronomy 28:68. Y'all can all look this up. Keep going. For bond men, for slave men, and bond women. Slave women. There you go. And no man shall buy you. That means no one man is going to be able to redeem us. How many leaders have we had trying to rise up and save us from this oppression? Countless, of, countless. But the Bible says no one man is going to save us. But there is one man that's going to save us. It's going to be Christ. He's our savior. Not this man right here, because the white man's not going to save us. Right. It's the black Messiah. Exactly. Right. Right. So the Bible is true in itself. That's how we know this was this was written thousands of years ago, sis. Brother, this was written thousands of years ago and it predicted our slavery down to the T. Now give me was it um 64? Yes. Uh, with the uh, irons. Oh, with the iron, that's what I want. Check this out, because I'm telling you, sis, everything you see right here, because our people don't like to read, so that's why we had to get pictures, because our people are simple. So we had to get a whole bunch of big pictures so everybody could be like, oh I, I get it now. Bring a lot of our people hate to read novels. Their favorite book would be Where's Waldo? Right. Ain't no words in it. That's how we are. Let's go. Right. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies which the Lord shall sin against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in one of all things. So we're going to serve our enemies in one of all things. Birth certificates, death certificates, a license, passports, uh, child support, whatever. You have to sign papers for everything. A marriage certificate, you have to sign papers. We have to go to our enemies to get all this. We can't just make it up on our own. All right, keep going. That's right. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. He said, these enemies are going to put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. He says, I got to get these visuals back up. Y'all look at this. Who did that happen to? It's prevalent right there. All right, keep going. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Now, what it's saying is these chains are going to come off our neck when we're destroyed. Meaning what? Now, he don't have to worry about you fighting him because you're submissive to him now. Right. You ever have a, uh, you see them dogs when they keep running out the yard so they get electric fence? When he keep on hitting that electric fence, a couple of times they hit him, he's going to realize, hold on, I can't go that far because I know I'm going to get zapped. Teach. The same way, he can take the chains off because we're going to serve him now. We're going to do whatever he says. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.